technically. Accurate had the vehicle's tech content as a selling point, and at one time it was a leader in the segment, with Bluetooth, navigation, and iPod integration. But that's where the innovation train stopped for this model. We recently spent some time in the vehicle and observed some of this up close. At the top of the line, it has no interface for smartphones or tablets unless there's a USB connection. Ironically, the corporate cousin Honda is leading the charge with this level of connectivity and promising a lot more. Now to be fair, we do like driving the TSX wagon, even the four-cylinder version. The test unit had a fuel-injected 2.4 liter inline four under the hood, delivering 201 horsepower and 170 foot-pounds of torque. Fuel economy is in the middle of the segment with 22 miles per gallon city and 30 per gallon for the open road. A V6 is only available in the sedan version. The TSX wagon only comes with a front wheel drive, five speed automatic gearbox. When competitors have six and seven speed transaxles on both front and all wheel drive platforms. We also liked its handling and came to appreciate an above average braking system. For the driver and front seat passengers, there's a comfortable fit. But on a 106 inch wheelbase, the second row passengers are a little cramped. The trade-off, of course, is 31 cubic feet of cargo space. How often do you see a vehicle like this at the home improvement store? At one point, the idea of a small wagon appealed to buyers. But for the most part, that group has shifted over to crossover vehicles, leaving the TSX Sport Wagon with no place to plant its flag. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.